You wanna head to Euphorica after work tonight? Nah. I can't do <laughs> that for a nap. So what mission are you on right now? Huh? So what mission are you on right now? Wait, what's the question? How many girls have you fucked? How many <laughs> missions have you done? Oh, uh, I'm... Why don't I... What do you mean, main missions? Not really in yeah. any of them. I'm just going around exploring, doing shit, leveling up. Right now, mm. I'm killing everybody on Neon because... I was doing a mission for this one guy, for this package, right? Yeah. And then I had to go kill somebody in this one area, which alerted the security, which down killed everybody in fucking goddamn fucking Neo. So it's like... Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Of course you'll kill anyone in Neon. While well, they're all shooting at me, fucking... Knifing you me. can't surrender? You know, put gun down, put your hands oh. up, get arrested? Um, they... They... They're like seven of those fuckers in, in the elevator. Before I could get there, they shout. Sick. Hi, <laughs> Pat. Uh. I am going to do some time, so I'm going to join. They are Steve not, Vanguard. like, I am trying to, like, put my, I put my gun away, they just keep on shooting at me, so, um... Yeah, they don't like me, whatever. Okay, you know what, you guys, oh my god, there's so many fuckers over there, dude, right? Mo ha 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 Shit. And I ran out of fucking health stuff. God damn it. I don't have to worry about my health. I am in I'm a immortal starborn. Oh, I can't. Yeah. I can't the fact that I am anxiety. a starborn makes me an immortal. Uh-huh.
It's a seventh, so it's only a couple more days to the update. Yay! Yay! The update's gonna be so cool! Yay! Yay! Uh, I get it. Yay! Yay! Uh, Yay! Fuck all these guys! Fuck! I hate everything while these guys are working. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna run first. Fuck you! Fuck you! So, Grim, what are you most excited about for the update? I don't know right now. Let me start. Let me start. Um. Bob, are you working to add stuff into your ship, Bob? <laughs> it's. I can't remember what else was. Holy crap. What's up? I went to Constellation and I found myself. Wow. Huh. Oh my god, Grim, I can recruit myself on my crew. Yeah. Wow. That's funny. Welcome aboard, me! Oh my god. <laughs> I, Captain Fox has recruited Fox on the Starborn Guardian. Yeah. There's two. There's two of me. There's two of me. <laughs> this is so cool! I've never met myself before. Sure. This is so cool. Sure. I can I can't imagine the journeys me and myself is gonna be on. The journeys and the adventures. My own doppelganger. Doppelganger. <laughs> I was gonna correct you, but. Hmm. Well, I beat you to the punch uh, punchline, didn't I, Star Fox?
<laughs> you sound like an anime girl, Sunny Sun. What the god. I would like to be a UC citizen. Hi, Captain. Don't oh, mind me. Supra and Ultra. Oh, that's right, I need to take a, you know, a test. Hmm. Enlist, enlisting agreement, okay. I thought agree. <laughs> Main menu. Okay. Uh, let's hope I took the motion.
On route in the Vanguard Orientation Hall, it talks about the fall of the Ordinian city, a city that was overwhelmed with Tenomorphs, where I just came from. Uh expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this hmm, is where to find me again. The flight simulator. A pleasure to meet you. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth. Man, if, if simulations were this realistic by... in real world, well, I would definitely you know, invest into buying one back home again. So your arrival is fortuitous. Have you ever took Perhaps the flight exam? To act as a middle person between ourselves in real life, no? The others. Oh, and, and stuff up. Yeah, that yeah, the flight yeah, the flight attendant that he told me to do all all. Uh yeah. Yeah, I did. Remember, I I leveled it up to a certain point and then went on my own. Oh yes, of course. Where are my mates? I can't get past. Uh, now then, please follow me. Round five because they just bombard first. my ass. And I can't more on do it. Once we reach the bridge. Mm -hmm. You probably can. Doctor De Costa, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am, for security purposes. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. <laughs> Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number Good of you. Here you go. scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction like within 50 years. He Just fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that that's what happened. Never seen a ship so, like yours He gathered before. the best and brightest again, he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. The Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. So, here we are. Let's talk. Now that you're here, 
I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. Isolate, contain, well, destroy. As I mentioned, That's my motto. we've been unsuccessful in communications mm -hmm. with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt now, also, to... Now, also, keep in mind, if you use your boost, enemy ships can't fire on you. I don't know if you know that. What do you mean? If if you use your ship's boosters, the enemy ships can't get a lock on your ship. Well, I've been using my wait. Do you so I use your booster or you don't use your booster? No, no. Every every time you use your boosters, it will break the enemy's lock on your ship. That means they can't fire on oh, you yeah. while you're boosting. Oh yeah, I usually do that when I'm trying to catch up to somebody. You know. Well, well, you should also do that when you see someone shooting you. You should also just boost in whatever direction you can. And then that f they'll, they'll lose their lock on you. And they can't fire uh, on you yes. while you're boosting. Okay. We know there's a settlement on the planet below. Meaning people were here before us. You see, we intended to settle here. So it's, it's more than just catching up. It's actually you still they their presence here. That's, yeah. that's how I, you know, all get so high in the simulator. And negotiate a solution. Uh -huh. Preferably one that favors us. <laughs> Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet, and we intend for them to see this our way. So, speak with their leadership and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. Report back to me and let me know what they say, and we'll go from there. Thank you, and Godspeed. Hey there. Now that we know what's out there, things are going to be more interesting. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Boy, am I glad you weren't some sort of. I wonder what else is out there. I wonder what it's like out there. The old guy. And to think, all this time we thought we were alone. Just stay out of trouble. Kill down. <laughs>